Welcome back, everybody. Bison Video Blog, our newcomers for 2016 rolls on. We're on to number four. Kolpak loves talking about defense, loves talking about linebackers, and that's going to be his uh, topic du jour. As this is a kid out of jour. California. Bison have not recruited California all that often over the last few recent years. Aaron Mercadell, who redshirted in 2015, he had a tremendous spring and capped it off with a great green and gold game. Now, the last depth chart, Jeff, he's not listed as a backup at linebacker. I think he's going to see the field a lot in special teams. I think he's going to see the field as a linebacker somewhere in the rotation this year. Athlete. I look at this guy. I look yeah. at number 55 there. I, I, I see athlete. And when you want an athlete, you think of like a Travis Beck type of guy. Ooh. I think this guy fits that mold. He's got that uh, athleticism. He's got the strength. And he's got the speed. And, but, okay, here's the other deal, though, and we <laughs> harp on it all. Every time we have these newcomers, can he pick up the defense? Right. And the Tampa 2, that linebacker spot is a bear to learn. Not many Grant Olsons and Carlton Littlejohns and Travis Backs that can pick it up right away. But you look at his raw physical talent and speed, he was all over the field in the green and gold game back in April. He is, and you look at his, his speed and his size, he's 5'11", 206. Now, 5'11 isn't your ideal Nick DeLuca size no. at 6'3", 240. There's not many of those guys out there. <laughs> but again, that's why in the FCS you get guys like this uh, because the FBS is looking for that 6'2 guy. If he's 6'2", maybe Cal takes him out in the Bay Area. Right. I don't know. Uh, but he's 5'11", Ramon Humber, you know, those type mm -hmm. of 5'11", 5'10", Joe Mays guys that get overlooked by the FBS. FCS is right there to take him. They'll gladly take him. You look at it, obviously, with Tucker, DeLuca, and Stumpf, Work, I mean, those are the main three guys, and we've, I don't know how many times we've harped on this subject yep. over the last four years, but is this the year that finally, and if you and you hit out of the park, they got to be able to pick up the defense. NDSU's not going to put guys out there just to put them out there if they're not playing defense and can't play the Tampa too well. I think this has got to be the year where we see some of the backup linebackers play. I just do. I, it, the grind of what you're going to see, I think it has to happen this season. You think so, really? I think it does. I, I don't know. So maybe I'm way event, off on Eventually, that. you think eventually. It catches up to you, yeah. doesn't it? I think so. You don't I, wish injury on anybody, but maybe this that, if that happens, you got to know what, what you have. I, I think so. You can only go to the well so often yeah. with three guys, and I think, uh, you know, they've gotten by last That's two That's exactly years right. They've gotten by. That. They've just gotten by. They've been fortunate. These guys... They've been hurt, but they've, they're so tough, they've stayed on the field. You talk about Travis Beck's shoulders, uh, Grant Olson, you know, hung in there. ACL, the, and he came that, back and played. That, whatever that was, yeah, I just, uh, eventually you need to try to find some depth somewhere. You, and I mean, NDSU for the first time, Pierre G. Tucker stayed healthy for an entire campaign, and we saw what he can do. MJ Stump picked up the defense, and he ran with it. They, in my estimation, both, I think, overachieved in 2015. So if you count on them, that it, you hope that your backups can at least get to the spot, and Mercadell might be one of those guys who can get to that lineup, and he's got all the, I think, all the talent to be a guy who could be a difference maker down the road for this team. I, I think down the road this year, I don't think you're going to see him at Iowa. He's not going to no. be in there against Iowa. He's not going to probably be in there against Eastern Washington. Charleston Southern probably, opener, probably, probably not, not, but you get down through the season, maybe he sees the field a little more once he picks things up a little more in practice. It's a curious spot to watch there for linebacker, and Aaron Mercadell could definitely be one of those guys, one of the newcomers that could be a difference maker for the Bison in 2016.